The site we're on today is a fully service pitch, which means that we can link up our water directly to the tap that's behind us. We do this by attaching a ball valve into the aqua roll, and while we're here, with it's been quite hot, so we've got our insulator coming from the silver side out. This reflects the sun off it and keeps our water cool. In the winter, we turn it round and we put the blue side out and keep the silver side in to keep our water from freezing. Our feed pump into the caravan also has a jacket on it to stop it getting hot or cold depending on which season we're camping. The blue hose is connected directly to the tap, as I said, behind us. On a fully service pitch, we have our wastewater running straight into the drain. This we made ourselves and it's 32 millimeter white PVC um, connectors that we just bought at a local hardware store. We use flexi pipe to connect it to the caravan. Every caravan is different, so you'll have to measure if you want to make one of these and measure in between to put the connector. And this runs onto our collapse waste hoses, which we found are a really good investment. To keep this level along the back of the caravan, because it's too tall to put any kind of pegs or anything like that. We have made these little hangers. We've made these from on and rail protector, velcro and two rivets. As this travels round the back of the caravan, and if you look down the back of the caravan you can see that we've held it with collapse pegs. These are wonderful because they're shaped to keep a hold of the pipe and you can adjust the height of it to run it straight into the waste pipe that you have. The toilet on a caravan usually has water for your flush and in here is the cassette that get, holds all the deposits. The cassette we find we empty probably once every two days. Um, at the moment we're not using facilities on the campsite and solely living in the caravan. Into our water, we don't put pink fluid. We found that putting pink fluid in gives more black buildup. We just use clean water and we use a pink spray in the toilet itself that keeps it nice and clean and fresh. We top this up maybe once every three or four days. As I say, we are fully self-contained on this site because there is no facilities at the moment. And that's it. Toilet ready to use. Welcome to our awning. This is Minty's domain. As you can see, fast asleep as usual. Right, our awning's a basic fairly cheap awning, ideal for us, it's lightweight, we tow with a standard car, we don't carry much weight in the caravan or the car. We have two of these outwell seats, um, they pack up and go into the back of the caravan in the under floor locker. Behind there there is a little um, unit which we used to use when we had a tent. Um, we just keep our shoes in there out of the way. Up above we have some camper hooks that we hang coats on, dog leads, bags of pegs. The light you can see up hanging, we have four of them in the awning and they, they throw out a really good reasonable light. We obviously have our bin and that's our messy corner. That's where we keep our bags that we brought things in. We have a camping unit. Under here we keep our vegetables. Um, it keeps them nice and cool and the air circulates through it. On top we have a tower multi-cooker. And we do a lot of cooking outside in that. And our cool box. That's an electric cool box. Um, in there we store bottles of pop to keep them nice and cool because the fridges in caravans they're not too big so we haven't got a lot of space to store stuff. 
We use the table from inside of the caravan and that will come out into the mill when we're having meals, um, drinks, friends around. Under the table is our television cover. If you want to invest in a cover for your television to keep it safe, I do recommend Duck's Back. They're really, really good, waterproof and they're padded inside so you can transport your television, no problem. At the moment we've got the front up on the awning. It is raining, but not too heavily, so we'll keep that up and it means the dog can wander backwards and forwards when he wants to. We have a sneaky peek outside. We're actually at Danny Rogoff. Um, this is the National Shore Caves of Wales site and it is an amazing caravan site. The facilities are just up the hill. You can see the road just going over there. Um, they're always kept clean. At the moment they are closed but they're supposed to be opening tomorrow if the site owner has enough staff. And look at them Welsh mountains. Absolutely beautiful. And we're completely surrounded by mountains. I walk out here. Oops. You can just see the mountains in the distance there, covered in the mist. And behind us is actually a horse arena. And they do have Shire horses here and a few other ridden horses, and they bring them out now and again just to exercise them in the arena, and that's really, really nice to see. But as you can see, the pictures are really, really generous. The grass in between the pictures down here. And over the back, or well, the front, because this is the way we have our caravan facing for these views, there is more pictures in this place. And if you maybe be able to see in the distance, there is caravans dotted around between the trees. And there's very private pictures. Um, or, like this one, you can have more people in one place, giving it more social. The grass over the top, you can see little grass patches around. That's where the tents go. As from tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have more tents joining us. And more people. It has filled up over the week. We didn't expect it this week, with still being lots of restrictions. But it's absolutely glorious.